What's going on guys, Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews, back again with another dual review. Today we got Buffalo Bags on Spotlight. We got their Fury and their Instincts, two of their carpet lines. Before we get started though, Sub-Zero Bag Company, uh, you guys know that's my bag, my bag company. Uh, started it in my garage, do all the designing, sewing, printing myself. If you want to help support the channel, I got a lot of awesome versions on there. Subzerobagcode.com, code Eddie, 5% 5 off. And TNT Cornhole Boards, you know, printed tops, double support brace, double leg, link in the description below for them. Really, really great boards. Appreciate the support from them. But, so today we're talking about the Fury and the Instinct. The Fury, you're looking at Warlock, right? So you got that six speed herringbone slow side, that seven speed, you know, Viking fast side, Viper slow side, soft seven speed material, all slide slow side, very common material. Uh, in terms of the floppiness of this, I would say similar template size to a Warlock, but a little on the thinner side, more of a disc fill, uh, not gonna be as bouncy and rolly as a Warlock or any kind of BG, but a little bit more friendly, six, seven speed range, uh, kind of five, seven. Sometimes this carpet starts to slow down, but somewhat of a middling speed carpet bag, pretty close on the speed chart. And then we're looking at the Buffalo Bags Instinct, which is gonna be kind of a three, four, six. We got combat, slow carpet side, really, really sticky carpet. Right now it's not super sticky. I don't have these things dirty like crazy. Uh, I've thrown them a good amount to break them in, but not like tons and tons. Uh, and that fast side is gonna be that six speed. The slow side of Cat 3, um, the uh, slow side of a Widow. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got the Galaxy Cornel Conspiracy 724 WMD. I'll use this as their slow side. That's the fast side here. So you're looking at like a three to four once this slows down and a six on the fast side. Template size though, very small. Uh, think like old school Viking small, but really rounded corner. So it, it kind of makes it like a, because it it's all disc as well, but because it's so tiny, it's, a, it's kind of a chunky bag and a really, really tiny bag. It's almost like, Ah oh, man, what else is this small? Kind of the fire torch was this small, but had less round corners, so they got away with it a little bit. But kind of difficult for me to get a handle on just because of the tiny round corners. I have really tiny hands, and my hand almost covers the entire side of the bag. So just a little bit hard for me to grip, get a grip on. I'm used to throwing slightly floppier, larger template bags, so that's just kind of the hand feel that I like. But if you really like that old school kind of small Viking template, you like a small, you like being able to get most of the bag in your hand when you're throwing. This could definitely be an option for you one of the smaller bags that I've seen with the pro stamp um, from this from this last season. But uh, price point, I think they usually get in, they're like that $100, $110 price point plus shipping. They do a lot of sales on their website though for like 80, 90 bucks. And I would expect with it being uh, end of the season nearby, you're gonna be able to find either people with these or them on sale if these are bags that you want to, to try. Um, but yeah, so we'll get into, uh, Throw in a little bit here. Um, I am definitely more of a fan of the Furies than I am of the Instincts. Again, just mostly for that template size, it's very difficult for me to get, get a grip on the Instincts, but the Furies feel uh, feel nice in my hands, good floppiness. Um, you know, I think I've talked about this on the channel before, maybe in some podcast interviews. Not a big fan of very close, slow to fast side. I feel like I usually get too kind of trapped in one world of like, you know, I don't have that slinky side if I need to slip in a spot, pushing through, like both sides kind of feel similar to me. I feel like I have more of a one dimensional bag. Granted, when the humidity kicks up, this fast side kind of slows down a lot on both these bags and the slow side stays a little quicker. So you get a little bit bigger of a discrepancy. But right now on these fast boards, both sides kind of play very similar in speed. Uh, which, you know, like you lose some versatility, but some people just really like having that consistent bag feel in their hand. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Um, the slow side, I, I've beaten these things up a little bit. So the slow side is playing a little bit slower now. A little bit off to the right, so we can bring it back. Oh, I'm still to the right. Yeah, let's try to follow through a little straighter here. Never mind, I got a case of the righties to start. Not very good. We'll step out on the outside here with the instincts. But the instincts, I have to kind of try to grab a little bit smaller piece of it. And it's difficult for me to get them flat. Granted, you know, I'm working on getting a flat bag in general, but it's just like when my hand rotates through, uh, not not super good. It's just very, oh, I threw that so bad. Uh, it's just very difficult for me to kind of get uh, a flat bag on it. Um, you know, both of these bags, I would say there's a lot of Buffalo fans out there. I think the Fury is going to be more popular than the Instinct. Uh, I still, the first review that I did of the Nomad and the Crush, I personally like those a little bit better. Again, still kind of close on the speed scale to each other, but just like the template and feel of those a little bit better. 
going upwind this way, but got to stay consistent. Again, nice and controllable still. Oh, that's not very good. All right, come on. Try to focus on my release a little bit more. Still got a case of the righties, but that's all right. Um, you know, they're, the Furies, as much as I'm not showing them, they are decently hole friendly on that slow side. Again, that herringbone carpet is pretty friendly. Man, I just try to get a grip on these. Just comes out of my hand really crooked. Try to stay, all right, really push, punch the elbow. Um, again, that is a pretty slow carpet side. If you've ever thrown a set of combats before, you know that combat slow side is really gonna punish you if you're not flat. So it's definitely going to be a super hard thrower's carpet. Let's try to throw a little bit better here. I'm just swinging now. Come on, Eddie. Yeah, that's a little better. <sighs> hitting my leg but i would say you're able to stay aggressive with them a little bit um you know in a lot of bags it's just it's really about comfort level of the bag in your hand uh to show whether or not you know if you're gonna be able to throw well you need to be able to be comfortable with the bag in your hand theories i just like the floppiness a little bit more and then it came off my fingers a little bit there we go all right decent round through a 10 with the furies um, so again, with the instincts, you have to really just be used to or enjoy having a bag with a tiny template. That's kind of the big ache. Similar with their grind, which we'll have a review of the grind coming in a little bit too. That is a smaller template as well. I think in their newer lines that they're coming out with for the 24 season, they are all, I think I saw some Viper R variants. I mean, they are not shying away from trying to use every single material in the arsenal. All right, come on. Ah, oh, miss right again. Trying to trying to figure out how to not hit my leg, but definitely a work in progress. See if I can try to flatten these ones out a little bit. There you go, that's a little better. A little swingy. There you go. Fast side on these, even with that six speed slow side, right now the boards are pretty uh, pretty quick, so that actually pushes through pretty nicely. Um, but Buffalo's just got a lot of models now. I mean, between their deadhead, kind of like your surefire speed, and then you got your ambushed fast bag, you got Fallout X, which is probably one of the most popular carpet bags, utilizing uh, the Fury carpet as well. Then you got um, M1 carpet or M1 carpet ride. Uh, you just got so, I mean, and now you got Nomad, Hype, Splash. Um, Crush, Fury, Instinct, Grind. There's just they just got they just got so many so many different bags. I mean, like you can't have an excuse about not having a Buffalo bag to throw because they have literally every single bag line you could think of. There you go. You just start following through like a normal throw. There we go. There we go. Furies. Theories I could throw. I, I, mean, I mean, I'm a fan of the herringbone carpet as it is, but just having that slightly bigger template. There we go. And again, I mean, if you throw these bags straight, they can, they'll definitely go in the hole. I just haven't been throwing them straight. But it's also, that is a nice little four bagger. All right, three out of four and four out of four. We're warming up a little bit. But again, it's just comfortability. You know, it's a little harder for me to feel like I get that nice flick on the bag when the bag is a little bit smaller on the template size. But that's just me. And that's why there's, you know, people ask why is there hundreds and hundreds of bag companies? Well, there's just a lot of, all right, we'll go throw fast side this whole round here. Fury fast side. This seven speed Viper slow side right now on these boards is sliding pretty dang quick. Woo, nice and drippy. Well, people ask me, why is there so many different bag companies and different bags? Well, a lot of it's just personal preference. Like, what do you... Oh, and that sucked in my hand. That was terrible. What do you like to throw? And it's all about... A lot of it's about comfortability. Template size, you know, speed rating, fill. Feel a fill in your hand. So this fast side is actually the same material as the Fury fast side. It's just the back side of it. Oh, my lord. Not the best. 
There we go. Should grab both of them. I'm gonna sneak around it. So I can grab both of them here. Little cut, grabbed them. Nice. I will right, we'll go down back one more time now that I'm not throwing it like I've never thrown a bag before. <laughs> but a lot of, I'm excited for 2024 here soon. ACL 2024 stamp coming out. You got tons of new bags um, from a lot of companies, including Buffalo bags. They got tons of new bags coming out. A little on the left, still hit my leg there a little bit. Go for an air mill. Oh, left. Not the greatest. Let's go with the Furies here. There you go. Again, these just out of my hand just feel a little bit more comfortable. Again, board's a little slanted, but these bags will kick if you're not flat with them. But if you are flat, go for an air mill. Oh, almost got the four piece. Went for the and one. Not got the and, not the one. But if you, you know, if you're used to somewhat of a normal, or if you, you're used to the Fallout X, but maybe the Fallout X fast side a little bit too quick for you, Fury could definitely be a good option. Uh, same carpet, kind of same hand feel. A little bit less lightning on the fast side. Which I know there's a lot of people that sometimes that nine speed fast side is just too much for them. But all in all, I mean, the Furies, Furies are nice and controllable to throw. Let's see if we can get a fast side clean up here to finish. The Furies. Ooh, felt a little tilted. A little too much grip with the fingers. But nice little 10. Again, controllable. I should have been able to, I mean, I pushed the replace a couple times there. There we go. That's got an angle on it. Yeah. Gotta be flat. See if I can fast side grab that to finish. Nice. Nice. Hey, doing something like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but, all right, that's going to be the Fury and the Instinct. So, again, if you like that Warlock speed material combo, but maybe you don't like how full the Warlocks are, this is a nice kind of floppy version of a Warlock a little bit. So slightly um, less full with that flat disc fill, less bouncy. Um, nice, controllable 5.7, speed bag. Instinct, you got to like a tiny template, old Viking. You got to like some round corners uh, if you get it in your hand. I mean, definitely these things are going to cut a lot easier for you. Uh, they probably airmail a little bit easier with the smaller, with the smaller, Temp, I mean, it doesn't even cover the whole definitely smaller bag, but you have to have to be able to enjoy that smaller hand feel. Uh, not necessarily the bag that I look for because I like some bigger bags, but definitely a market out there for a smaller templated bag. And this is definitely an option for you if you want a controllable one. So appreciate you guys stopping by for another review. If you like this stuff, please like, comment and subscribe. Hope you have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.